Hey everybody, Sarcasm here. Welcome to another tutorial episode. Um, this episode is going to be dedicated to a semi-automated wheat farm. Um, and just as before, even though we are in a Tekkit world, um, oh yeah, joined uh, by a live studio audience. <laughs> even though we are in a Tekkit world, I'm going to be showing you the vanilla process of building this farm, and then we can look at some tech at upgrades. So what you're going to need, a uh, little bit of lag, what you're going to need is a uh, couple, st couple stacks of dirt, I think probably two, I have three in here, but we'll just get some dirt out. A uh, couple of your favorite building blocks, um, probably not going to need this many, but you know, just being prepared, right? Uh, you're going to need a hoe, I've already got one here, uh, and you're going to need about two stacks of seeds, two buckets of water, about two stacks of redstone, and 22 repeaters, 18 pistons, and a lever. So let's move the sickle out of the way. <laughs> Alright, so let's get to building. Now this uh, design I got off of I got off of Gar, um, YouTube channel Fig Roland. Um, might know him from uh, Dave Chaos's channel. Uh, he does a lot of things with Dave Chaos. Uh, I specifically got this design off of To the End or Bust, uh, their To the End or Bust series. So just get you a nice blank area, and the dimensions you're going for are going to be, uh, I believe, 21 wide. Oh, wait, chicken. Yeah, about 21 wide. We'll just start here. Um, 21 wide and just however much you need at least like 9 down but well no actually more than 9 I think you need like 13 but we'll, we'll figure that part out later oh I'm not even counting hold on I think it's 21 including the wall so go away Arr. interfering with my building process okay so 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And we'll just go this way. Get this all cleared. The, uh, Oh, I thought charging it would make it faster. Well, that's kind of worthless. That doesn't make it that much faster either. Uh, oh well. All right, so now we got kind of our kind of our space cleared out. Now, as before, you're going to want to make uh, your infinite water source because you're going to need a going to need a bit of water for this project. Okay, so we'll just make it this long here. Uh, whoop. Okay. So anyway, now we've got our got our cleared area. Now between the walls. You're uh, gonna want to kind of make a dead space like this. Oops. Oops. And be a little more accurate with the block placing than I. <laughs> okay. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's about right. Yeah. Like so, because uh, what's going to go behind these walls is going to be the redstone. Alright, so now we've got, this should be um, 17 on the inside. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, the two walls. Because uh, we'll actually be cutting those walls down. So now, dig a little bit of a trench along this wall here another trench along this wall 
And then a trench right in the middle. So one, two, three, six, seven. That should be the middle. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Now. Let's get this up and going here. Whoops. A little too much. You'll need to uh, build a row of blocks. We ain't having that. You need to build a row of blocks up like this. Um... Actually, you know what? I am up too high. I am not up high enough. Need to take you higher. <laughs> Need to be another, another bit higher. There we go. Now we can actually get rid of this wall now, because this is where you're. This line is where your water is going to be. I know it's a bit confusing and it's a bit complicated. Uh, some people have actually told me it's a bit wasteful. Uh, that there's other ways to do this that's less complicated. Um, I don't know. I rather uh, I rather enjoy it this way. Okay. Now let's get our pistons. Get underneath here, just put them down, do nine pistons on this side, and nine pistons on this side, aiming straight down, and they don't have to be sticky pistons, just normal pistons will do. Go ahead and replace the dirt you've taken. Whoop. Uh, how do I decharge this? Uh, hmm, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, let's fill in, fill in these trenches here. But don't fill in this trench. This trench is actually important. This is your uh, collecting trench. Alright, now, it's going to have a little bit of fun with the water. I've got two extra pistons for some reason. What did I do? What have I done? Oh. I'm a dimension off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, the trenches should be nine long. Just like that. Okay. And I can get back under here and put another piston. Do that in a second. Okay, now we're now we're doing better. Okay, so now what you want to do is get out your water, and this is going to be the tedious part. Basically, the way the way that I have seen Gar set this up in the Tender Bust video is you need a source block behind every single piston. And the reason for that is so they'll evenly push the wheat and seeds to this middle to this middle track. So that middle track will end up being like this, as you can see. So let's get to let's get to water in here. And uh, actually, to speed this up, I'm just going to get out a bunch of water buckets. There we 
go. Because this is a pretty, pretty tedious part when you only have two water buckets. There we go. So now, now that entire flow goes evenly to the edge. That's how you want it. Do 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 do. Oh, what am I doing? I don't need to come back over here. Just delete them. Give me eight more. Come back over here. There you go. All right. Now we're evenly, evenly across, just like so. Now we need to add our uh, our lever, so that way we can, you know, obviously shut the water off. Uh, first thing, oh crap, stupid, just deleted the repeaters. <laughs> uh, let's get those back. Twenty-two repeaters, please. Thank you. Let's get those back down. Okay. Uh, let's go get the redstone out, actually. Alright, now. One thing you'll need to do. This is how I did it before, right? Yeah. Alright, one thing you'll need to do is actually get another row of blocks behind this wall. Now, remember, this is the vanilla version. With, uh, in Tekkit, if you're using red alloy wires, this would actually be a lot easier. Um, but, like I said, we're going to go through the vanilla process first, and then we'll, we'll look at tech and upgrades. So let's go ahead and fill that. Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to fill this bit here. Oh, am I too close? Dum 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 dum. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is right. Okay, so now you're going to want to take your repeaters and put them facing every piston. And you don't have to change their delay, so it's it's all good there. Oop, too close. Okay. So we got them facing every piston. Now, uh, now you do have an extra bit of repeaters. This is actually pretty important. Uh, because obviously with normal redstone, you run out of current after so far. So once we pass this section, we're going to want to turn it. And then once we get to here, I want to do that. And we're going to want to put two in the middle somewhere just to make sure we don't lose current. So let's just one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'll put that one here and this one here. We probably don't need an extra two. Maybe one in the middle is probably sufficient. Um, I guess it just depends on how big you're actually making this. So now let's get our redstone out. Let's wire it up. Um, now I'm gonna put a redstone there because what I'm gonna do put the lever on this wall so as you can see, we got the current going already. Yeah, just get it all wired up. Like I said, no need for a delay on these repeaters. You just you just need them to repeat the current, basically. And the reason why I say to use repeaters on these pistons, if you're unfamiliar with redstone it's necessary in order to make the signal turn multiple times if you just put a series of redstone along this path in my experience it pretty much it only it like skips the whole chain and only gives the last piston power so I've learned to use repeaters like this alright so now see the levers activated and all the water's clear now you just simply take your hoe I didn't even need the other stack of redstone look at there you actually don't need the full stacks of seeds either. I think it's a stack plus 18, if I remember correctly. 
And I'll hoe it up. And the way the water is positioned, it's it's just enough that all the blocks get irrigated. So you won't have to worry about um, you know the irrigation not holding blocks turning back into dirt. And also, I've taken into account the calculation for the outer wall. As you can see here, this would actually be where your outer wall goes. Um, and that's in order to keep it, you know, in inside of a building, so that way your crops don't get trampled by, you know, various mobs. There we go. Hold it up, and you just place the seeds. I usually go three by three. A lot, uh, a lot quicker. And the yield that you get from this is very good. I usually get, you know, if you wait until they're all, um, wait until they're all wheat. Right. If you wait until they're all wheat, you get almost two stacks of wheat, actually. Well, you'd get the same amount of seeds that I'm spending, duh. Okay. And then of course the seeds that you get, I mean you you end up with way too many seeds at after a certain point. So yeah. There's the farm, just like that. Um it's already growing. I usually if you enclose this in a building, I'll usually put glass on the roof just to give it a nice bit of light. Sometimes hang, hang make it really tall, hang some chandeliers down. Yeah, and just when you're ready to collect um, you just flip the lever and the water just pushes all the wheat and seeds into the middle like so and then you just stand here and it just gives you all the seeds so that's the uh, that's the vanilla process now we're gonna go through some tech it upgrades uh, while we're doing that let me I may not have enough seeds to do this now but That's okay, you know, we get the point across, right? <laughs> okay, not right, out of seeds. <laughs> That's what happens when you try to pick seeds up too early. Okay, so let's look at the tech and upgrades. Now, the alloy wires, first of all, make this a lot easier. Oh. <laughs> make it a lot easier so what you can do is well I wouldn't do it that way crap I actually need to uh, well you get the idea you get the idea I shouldn't have planted all those seeds so let's get rid of the redstone boop, 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 boop. Um, since the alloy wires can go on walls, it actually lets you reduce the size of the side wall, at the very least, a bit. Alright. Nope. Didn't want to get rid of that. Oh well. Um we can actually get rid of a layer because the reason why it's so thick is you've got not only the red the chain the line of redstone but you also have the line of repeaters um, the alloy wires don't require repeaters so it makes it makes it a lot easier how to do that yeah so we got all of our stuff collecting there let's get this back where it was Okay, now what we'll do is just like this, I believe, yep, it'll go through. You can just do this right here, go around the back. Oop. Like so. Pretty cool. And it works, works just the same. 
little bit of lag there. <laughs> but, yep, works just the same. Um, oh, that... I guess that could be a delay while the power is going across. The next tech it upgrade you can do is one that we've obviously seen before, and that's to use the obsidian pipe. So, let's pick up my junk here. Uh, best, best way to do it, I've noticed, is to just put it put it under the ground like this like that and then just set up your your pipe chain uh, I'm gonna use a teleport pipe for this set it to the frequency and then just cover it back up like so and so now any any seeds that you have which I'm just gonna put dirt and crap in the middle here cuz I don't have any seeds <laughs> And, of course, I'm jumping, so I'm trampling some of the crops. Boom. So now everything will be pushed into that obsidian pipe. Go through your, go through your pipe system to your chest. So that's the next bit of tech upgrade. Now let's take it a step further, like always. Let's come over here to my little setup. Um, I've got the teleport pipe set up to go here to this diamond pipe. As you can see, it's separating uh, wheat and seeds and then everything else going into like a misc chess if you will now obviously with tech it we can automate this so first of all let's let's automate the wheat and uh, get us some tasty bread some yummy bread mmm so let's let's turn that on and let's just get things get things rolling Get things rolling, so you know we'll just turn this system on, and before we know it, we'll just have a chest uh, full of bread. Now, this this farm, the vanilla version, uh, like I said, this was done. This is a design I got off of Gar. Uh, link in the description for his channel for the t for the uh, to the Underbust series, so you can see it in action. Um, let me go ahead and flip that. This next thing I'm going to show you is something I got off of, uh, I mentioned before, uh, KCAM Gaming. Uh, he does a lot of Tech It tutorials, a lot better at Tech It than I am. Um, and this is using the Tech It deployer blocks. I believe they're part of Red Power. Um, and this is a much smaller farm design. Um, and it's not as automated in his video, which I'll link in the description. He's actually got a, like a Red Power... Uh, interval, I think it's an interval block set up to to send the pulse every so often. Um, whereas mine, mine's, this isn't automated, <laughs> it's, you know, a uh, lever button. So, um, so yeah, so while we've got our bread, you know, while we got our bread going, right here through this automated crafting table, we can actually do something with the seeds. Um, I'm having the seeds go into these deployers not very well, I may add. I put some diamond pipes on here to see if I could make it distribute more evenly. And it's really not, but you get the idea. <laughs> the idea is just to get the seeds into the deployers. And the deployers pretty much like, uh, oh, what do you call them? Dispensers. They, you know, same kind of a crafting grid, same, same kind of a concept, only instead of throwing a block, it'll actually place it. So I've got some wheat here. I've got another obsidian pipe set up there, as you can see. So let's release the water. Whoop. Ah. Don't want to fall down here. <laughs> Alright, let's get back up here. Ah. Alright. Let's uh, release the water. There it goes. Pushing it all down to that teleport pipe. Coming over here and then being separated into the correct chests and it goes into and uh, now we can just return the water back to its position activate the deployers boom and there we go and like I said in, in KCAM's video this is automated um, to where the piston release the water releases whenever it's ready and then after the water shut back off, the deployers are triggered, and uh, he's got 
a neat little redstone set up underground, so if you want to check out a fully automated version of this, go check out the link in the description. So yeah, that is um, that is the wheat farm. Uh, both vanilla and Tekkit versions. Got uh, got some nice yummy bread. <laughs> so yeah, um, I've been Zarcasm. I will see you next time. <laughs> um, and just cactus pops off, uh, collected by the obsidian pipe, goes into a teleport pipe there, which I have going into the back of that chest. And there's a world anchor in the gr in the floor about right right there. So what I think I'll do is maybe I should put one right here. Put a nice big quarry right here. Uh, why not? It's a pretty a desolate area. Um, little little man.